Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan with yet another 6000 series video for you. And this time, just to finish off the two that have been released, we're going to take a look at the HIS 6850. Now, uh, I do need to read off the screen at the back, I've got it up massive, but the 6850 is like the baby of the bunch. This probably is more the 5750, 5770 replacement. Um, 700, 775 megahertz on the core, still comes with a gigabit of RAM. Good thing about this though is, is I was just looking at it there, it's only 19 watts at idle they're saying that it, it the power that it pulls and even uh, at full load it's only 127 watts. They've um I'll give you a good look at the card in a sec, but they've uh, it's got a center mount cooler. Um and uh, all the outside of the heatsink is actually uh, all uh, ventilation holes, so it does, you know, let a lot of the heat back into the case. But there isn't a lot of the, a lot of heat in the first place. Uh, it's a very cool little card actually. Uh, it's only got one six-pin power as well. I honestly, considering that uh, this is still supports 3D, um, I honestly see this being a perfect little card that you can uh, game on but having your HTPC as well for your front room it's definitely something that I've got sort of spinning around my head at the moment anyway I'm going to cut straight in now so you can actually have a look at the card um, nice up close with the uh, 6870 as well which I've covered in another video also in another video I've done 6870 crossfire as well anyway let's go and have a, look, a closer look at the card 6870 and the 6850 this is just to give you a, a good close-up look round while I'm taking pictures obviously in the light tent makes it a lot easier I thought seeing them side by side might be better for you the HIS 6850's got a uh, blue PCB and the 870's got the uh, black one I'm trying to do this all with one hand because my light tent's actually quite big and I have to put it on the floor so it's a pain for me to be able to get the tripod in here as you can see if I Move this. The heatsink is uh, slightly different on the uh, 850 because it's in the middle and it kind of exhausts out everywhere. There is cutouts on the back, but nothing to stop it going out everywhere else. But it doesn't really create that much heat, so you've not really got too many problems in that respect. Right, there's the two. Off we go. Right, so you've seen a good up close look at the card there. Uh, you're now going to be wanting some benchmarks and to know what it's like. Now, the card's currently running Vantage behind me. If you listen, you're probably more picking up more of my main rig. I mean, I'm sat here and I can hear the fan, but only because I'm really sort of lent over listening for it. Um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to bring the camera in, I will show you the uh, Vantage results, and then we'll go and play some Crisis on this little card. Here we are back with the 6850 3D Mark Vantage P score, 15,149, which Bearing in mind it's only a 150 quid card, isn't bad. That's 13.3 on the GPU score and then 25 near as damn it um, with the CPU. Again, the CPU score is actually a lot lower than I was expecting. It is a 4 gigahertz overclock, so I don't know whether something's kind of playing around with that, but 
Anyway, you can see the score there. I'm going to uh, crack on now and show you some crisis with this little card. Right then guys, I need to remind you this is with the card at stock. Also remind you that this card is only 150 quid. And I'm really bad at crisis. Right down there. And it killed me as well. Anyway, you get the idea, I'll do a different section this time. Thirty frames a second there on gamer for what would be a cheap card. Bear in mind what I said, this would be a cracking little HTPC card for a budget gaming rig. Oh, that's where I was getting shot. Oh dear, dead again. Well, just goes to show you how bad I am anyway. Hope you're all having a chuckle. <laughs> right then, guys. HIS 6850 closing thoughts uh, well the cooler where it uh, 
exhaust all the way around the outside is a little bit disappointing, but it is quite quiet. Uh, I've not really heard it spin up or anything, and the card's not got warm at all while we've been using it. Um, on the back we've got a full-size display port and a HDMI, plus the two uh, DVIs there. So, do you know what I mean? It's got all the connections you could really want for it. can cross-fire it as well if you want. Maybe something we'll cover at a later date. Uh, and really, do you know what I mean? 15000 for a what I would call a budget gaming card or something which would be ideal in a HDPC or even something to take to your lands because uh, it's only really the stupid games, like really demanding games which you're not really going to be playing at your LAN events are, either are you um, it would be absolutely perfect for so it's cool, quiet, it's cheap, kind of ticks loads of boxes doesn't it um, so yeah all in all it's a very very good card uh, <coughs> I've and when you consider that we were playing Crisis then at Enthusiast uh, and it was very playable, do you know what I mean? It didn't go below 30, we were seeing sort of like high 30s into sort of like 40s, 45s. Incredible for such a cheap card. I really do hope this is a sign for things to come. But uh, big thumbs up. Uh, I'm having a massive upload fest at the moment. Uh, so there are lots of other videos uh, for you to go and see for the 6000 series launch. But from me, Tony Tom Logan and all the staff Overclock 3D because we have been busting our nuts to get everything done in time for this. Out.